This year is the year of luck, and Tampa is lucky to have its very first Sorry Sorry Store debut. And if you are wondering what a Sorry Sorry Store is, we have 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio here with us to explain it all. Hey, Miguel. Hey, guys. Well, a Sorry Sorry is a Filipino staple. You can find it in every corner of the Philippines. Think of it like your neighborhood bodega in New York. Well, now we have one here, too, one with a twist, thanks to a woman who grew up here in Tampa. There is that fear there, I feel like, with sharing like our food, that like, oh, someone's not gonna like it. And you kinda just gotta like say, no, just don't be scared of your culture. Don't be scared of the flavor. Sorry Sorry stores in the Philippines are like little walk-up bodegas. You can get sundries, laundry detergent, shampoo, small food, fresh drinks. That means variety, variety, variety. And it's all found throughout the Philippines. Yeah, like everywhere they're like everywhere. Kind of bringing that idea to Tampa, I feel like would be really fun. Really focusing on the snack portion of everything. How'd you come up with Lucky Tigre? I chose the name Lucky Tigre because I'm real superstitious. Like, I'm not just a little bit stitious. I'm very superstitious. I get that from my mom. I was looking up different tiger-related things one day. There's like a Malaysian saying, tigers prowl and prosper. And I feel like that's kind of me. It's all about making Filipino food accessible. It's important to give, like, even vegans a chance to, like, try Filipino flavors. And that's not very common to have, like, I don't know, my Vegan I'll... Filipino food, which we will have like, you know. My mom would be like, no, you're eating I this know, meat tonight. It's very Filipino American, definitely. It's Filipino food. It's not traditional, but it is genuine Filipino flavors through the lens of growing up Filipino American. Does it feel real? I mean, I'm, I'm right here and I'm eating these chips right in front of you. It doesn't feel real. Like, it has not felt real this whole time. It feels like I get to represent my culture in a way that's personal to me, which is cool. Okay, so now we're all hungry. We're all <laughs> hungry, and we're waiting for some food to I'm be here, sorry. too. I ate it all. It was just <laughs> so good. Otherwise, I would have. Oh, okay. But okay. tomorrow, the soft <laughs> opening is happening at 11 in the morning. We also have details on our website. But if you do get the chance to stop by, I want to teach a Filipino word to y'all. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's delicious. So it's okay. yum. Uh, set up. Set, set up. up. It set means up. delicious. Yes. All right. Okay. We got well, it. Well, it all looks set up. You sound Filipino there, I right? Don't. Are you sure you're I not don't. part Filipino there for sure? <laughs> Please make <laughs> What a great opportunity, though, if you can go check it out, too, and learn something, too, in the process. Thank you, Miguel.